Welcome to another episode and legendary talk. I'm your host Alexander. Um, so yeah, welcome back, guys. I really do apologize about the long wait time for the release date for videos. I have been busy, as you guys can tell. Um, there, I've been working on some changes for the channel. Let me guys know what you think in the comment section down below. I was even able to employ um, someone. We'll be doing a short interview shortly. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new changes around the channel. You like it? You want it to stay? Um, still great, bringing you guys um, great content, and nothing will change. Basically, all the visuals for you guys. Um, so thank you so much. We are currently at 226 subscribers on the release date of this video. So let's get that number to a thousand. Thank you, King of Legends. I am pumped about working for you. Ah, <laughs> that's great news, great news, really. All right, so tell the people um, a bit about yourself. Sure, my name is Rod Wave. I am from Kingston, Jamaica. I was always a big fan of your channel and you can imagine the excitement that fills my soul when you accepted my application. Ah, <laughs> that's great news, great news. All right, well, don't get yourself too pumped up. It's a lot of work, and I think you should start it. Yes, sir. Hi, Legendary. My name is Rod. I am new to this channel and was created by the King of Legends for your viewing pleasure. I will do my best to serve the King with honor to provide the best to you. If you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing. We provide educational content for all ages to enjoy and possibly learning a thing or two. Without a further ado, let's begin. In today's episode we will be covering Taki's War, or Taki's Rebellion, which started in April 7, 1760 and ended in July 1760. People from the Gold Coast, which is now modern-day Ghana, Aachen, Ashanti and Coromanti, were often at the forefront of slave revolts in Jamaica during the 17th and 18th centuries. About 300 of them revolted in the parish of Saint Anne in 1673. In the parish of Clarendon 17 years later, 400 Coromanti burned down Sutton's estate and fled to the hills. In 1745, Aachen-born slaves revolted in the southeastern parish of St. Thomas. The rebellion against the most important slave revolts in Jamaica's history occurred in 1760 following 20 years of relative peace under treaties between the British and the Maroons. They first broke out on Tuesday the 8th of April at a plantation in the northern parish of St. Mary. These first rebels were believed to comprise upwards of 100 Africans from the Gold Coast, newly imported, and their leader was a Coromanti man of the Aachen people known as Taki. The speed of the initial assault enabled the rebels to overpower British forces at Fort Halden at Port Maria where they obtained arms and ammunition. They moved on to overrun the plantations at Haywoods Hall and Escher. By dawn the following morning, hundreds strong, they had fought their way inland, capturing estates and killing European settlers where they found them. The Maroons assist the British when, two days later, the Lieutenant Governor of Jamaica received news of the destruction, he dispatched a detachment from the 74th West India Regiment and another from the 49th, together with three companies of Maroons from Nanny Town, Crawford Town and Scotts Hall. Under the terms of their peace treaty, the Maroons were obliged to assist the British in the suppression of uprisings and the recapture of runaways. In addition to rewards for every rebel killed or captured, they were also paid seven pence and one half penny per day. Their officers received two shillings and six pence. Tracked down and killed Aki's campaign spurred on uprisings on estates in the parishes of Westmoreland, St. John, St. Thomas in the East, Clarendon and St. Dorothy's. These revolts would not be quelled for several months. Meanwhile, Taki's forces took to the mountains where they were joined by a group of runaways who had previously been enslaved on the French island of Guadeloupe. These men had been involved in an armed uprising there and so had seen something of military operations in which they acquired much skill. But despite a number of strategic victories, the rebels were eventually tracked down and killed by parties of Maroons. Taki was reportedly shot by one of their sharpshooters. In all, some 400 rebels were executed, and about 600 were sent to be enslaved workers in the Bay of Honduras for their parts in the revolt. 
The suppression of the uprisings cost an estimated £15,000, and the loss of property stood at £100,000. As a result of Taki's rebellion, the lieutenant governor petitioned the king to increase the number of regular troops in Jamaica as the forces in this island were with great difficulty capable of reducing the rebellions. It was further proposed that, given their leading role in revolts, a bill should be passed to impose prohibitions on the number of enslaved Coromante people entering Jamaica. However, the great demand for able labor from the Gold Coast meant that no such legislation was ever enacted. That's end of today's topic. I should get to the conference room, the boss must be waiting. I'm really nervous and my voice was crackling a lot in the presentation, and it still is. Alright Rod, so how was the first, um, what's it called again? You mean the episode we just did sir? Yeah, yeah, the episode, yeah, so how was it man? Any day now Rod. I'm so sorry sir. I was really nervous, and I think I might have messed up. Alright, so don't get too worked up about maybe the mistakes that you made. Um, well, it's a working process. And I'm kind of new at being a boss as well, as you can see, look at my business. It's really just starting up, but don't get yourself worked up too much. Um, we'll work out the kinks, and you should be good to go. So don't worry. Thank you, sir. That meant a whole lot to me. Sure thing, Rod. One question. Um, I heard something's up with your voice. What's what's wrong? I am not sure what you're talking about, sir. Ah, there it goes again. I feel stupid asking you this question, Rod, but are you human? No, sir, I am not human. I was created by you. Alrighty, so no big deal. Just a few kinks that I have to work out and you will should be good to go. Well, I enjoyed your performance today. Just a few kinks as stated, but just a few patches and you should be good to go. Well, I hope you enjoy your um, employment here, if we could call it that. So, have yourself a great evening. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching today's episode on Legendary Talk. Um, it's been a blast. With you guys, I really do appreciate each and every one of you that take the time out to even watch this video. Um, the ones that even click like and for those that will go all the way out of their way just to comment on these videos. I really do appreciate you guys and I can't say thank you enough. Well, we're currently at 226 subscribers as stated before. Um, we're trying to grow the channel as best as possible. So as stated, we do share ed educational content so you can share the video with family and friends. We may do another channel that we would um, basically give you a rundown of each and every character that you'll be seeing in these episodes. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, have yourself a great day or night every time you watch this.